uh, when should you get a CGM as soon as possible if you want to know what's going on? If, it, if, you're in a, if you're early on in this later diabetes journey, maybe you won't even need it all the time. Although personally for me, I could not see not having one, but I was already at the point of using insulin for my diabetes. Um, and insulin is very difficult to dose correctly, uh, even for the same exact food. Sometimes insulin dosage required is different because there are other factors like the amount of activity you're doing or not doing, or if you get sick like with COVID or like a cold virus, if you're sick with an infection, you might suddenly need more insulin, uh, become more insulin resistant. There is amazing variability in how much insulin uh, you can need for to manage your uh, blood sugar with insulin. So a continuous glucose monitor, a CGM, uh, usually people wear them on their arm, although I now usually wear mine on my thigh. Uh, it's hit, hidden away. You can also, on your abdomen, it is also a common place to uh, wear a CGM. Uh, the Freestyle Libre CGM was the first one I used. It was cheaper than the Dexcom one. There are some other options available now, and the uh, variability of the number of brands of CGMs is increasing. So uh, by the time you watch this video, there may be more options as well. So talk to your doctor. And if cost is a concern, tell her that cost is a concern and, and get some comparisons on what the different ones cost per month. Because uh, the, the, it, it's um, not always, cost isn't always the most forefront thing in the doctor's mind. She may just be prescribing the CGM that she prefers uh, but if it costs too much, you're not going to get it, right? So it's important that you find an affordable option. Uh, there are some over-the-counter over CGMs too. Some things to look for in a CGM is you want to look for a CGM that lets you uh, change the alert levels. So they sh it should be customizable so you can tell it when you want a alarm to go off. Uh, the, the high alarm in particular, you should be able to adjust that to a, a number that uh, really makes sense to notify you that your blood sugar is high because you're going, going to take some action. Uh, you do not want to get alarms just all the time. You'll just get alarm fatigue if you get alarms and you can't do anything about those alarms and they just bother you. 